pickleball is becoming one of the area's favorite pastimes, sometimes making it difficult to even find an open court, and it even has its own language. Yeah, for instance, you don't want to be pickled. That's when you don't score any points during a game. That's happened to Mike a few times, I've heard. But you might want to dink, which is just, you know, tapping the ball over the net. And people of all ages are playing. Action News Jack's First Alert Chief Meteorologist Mike Burrish and traffic expert Maritza Ross shows us how this sport can be fun for everyone. Pickleball, not that kind of pickle. Pickleball is taking the sports world by storm. And it's grown from just 5 million this past year now to nearly 9 million players all around the United States and it's just going to continue to grow from here. A friendly, active game that any age level can play. It keeps you active. It's a little less taxing than tennis and you meet a wonderful group of people. Oh man, it's a hurricane, Mr. Burish. The demand is so great for pickleball courts that in some places they've made tennis courts and pickleball courts on the same place. Tennis courts, as you can see here, are nearly three times bigger than a pickleball court. At the post, a pickleball net is six inches shorter than a tennis net. And in the center, it's two inches shorter. There's the ball, that's more like a wiffle ball, and a paddle, bigger than a ping pong paddle, but smaller than a tennis racket a pair of tennis shoes, and you're ready to go. And don't let the busy courts full of players keep you away. So when you walk into the pickleball courts, this is like your sign-up sheet. You just put your paddle up and you wait your turn. And when it's time, you'll just rotate right onto the court. So there is some etiquette to the game, not to mention terminology and scoring. And remember, don't step into the kitchen. Not this kitchen, let's go. Unless the ball bounces first, you can't step into the kitchen, which is also known as the non-volley zone. It's the area near the net. Then there's the scoring. Only three numbers keep track of the score while confusing it. First, it's easy to get the hang of it. This sport is uh, very addictive, so I'm here maybe at least five times a week. Ultimately, it's the social aspect of pickleball and the exercise that continues to grow the sport. It's a physical activity, it gets you out and up, and it's a social activity. I've met some of the greatest people playing pickleball here. We can do mixed doubles and play together and you know not fight so it's been really fun. Nakati in St. Johns County is a neighborhood where the pickleball courts are full just about all day. We just saw the sport growing and growing and growing and uh, we added uh, eight more courts and we now have a total of 12. Some folks have gone so far as to build their own court. We had trouble finding courts some days, public courts, so we just decided to put one in and now it's like a tsunami. Keeps on coming, friends, all ages, it's great. Just try it and you'll be smitten by it. Just takes one time. Pickleball courts are certainly in demand. And right now in Duval County. We have 63 courts. St. John's County has 20 with 16 more by 2024. And Clay County has six with 14 more on the way. And in Georgia, Glynn County has 22 courts, while Camden has eight and Ware County has two. There's also apps like Pickle Play. That's right, where you can find private, public, and semi-private courts. And did you know there's actually more than 1,300 courts registered in our area? Yeah. So you can brush up on your pickleball skills. Oh, come on. I think I do okay. You lost that game. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Wow, Mike, well done. Good catch. That was great. <laughs> and uh, I learned a lot. I'll be honest. I've not played. Yeah. I hear about it from you and many other friends. Yeah. And it really is, it, I, you it know, really everybody addictive. who starts it is hooked. Yeah, it, it's a good time. And anybody can play all ages, families. That's the cool part about it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And uh, and you'll see you'll see people out there, packed, packed courts. It's easy to play, easy to do. And uh, you burn some calories. In can you it. hit Ian? Well, it's... Oh, no, hey, can. you got it him and he perfect. caught it. You, you couldn't see it, but he actually camera. caught it. All right. And it looks like a good workout. <laughs> yeah, it is a decent workout, yeah. So it's it's fun. It's uh, There's a, a real need for courts. That's probably the biggest thing. But everybody is very friendly, and, and you'll be able to rotate in pretty quickly. So don't let that intimidate mm -hmm. you. And, uh, and it is a good time. Most of the courts in Florida are outdoors, which is great for about six to seven months out of the year. But now we're getting into that hot time of the year. Mm -hmm. I know yeah. so it's raining quite a bit. But having said that, 
you know, just go to the First Alert Weather app. We'll tell you when it's going to rain and what the temperature is. Yeah. Yeah. If you're playing and you see Mike, you know you're in good shape. You're in great shape, right? Because does it mean that they're going to win? Well, both they're going <laughs> to win and stay dry. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's, yeah. Thank the competition, you. Well, not so much. For the record, I meant it nicely. This one here through the shade, not me. For the first time, For the first ever, time ever. We've, we've yeah, set I'm, his 